We are born bacteria free, but within hours we begin to be colonized with about 400 species of microbes on our skin, in our intestines, in our mouths, noses, and throats. There are more bacteria in our mouths than living people on the planet, more bacteria in our bodies than human cells. Billions are helping to digest our last meal. Those bacteria, E. coli, turn our food into sugars and process vitamins. They also keep us healthy by occupying spaces that otherwise might be occupied by disease-causing bacteria. But even good bacteria like E. coli can develop deadly strains. Bacteria are good or bad, and sometimes they are both. Remember Saddam Hussein's biological arsenal? He raised bacteria with the graceful name of Clostridia botulina. It causes botulism, a kind of food poisoning we got to know too well before processing methods were improved. When we eat it, we get deathly ill and we die. It's, a very, it's about as, as potent a poison as, as is known, actually. Pound for pound, it, it will kill more things than anything else. Six million times more deadly than rattlesnake venom, it is the most toxic substance on Earth. Botulinum toxin could be such a powerful weapon that it's been drafted for war since the 40s. Why don't you flame this here? Scientists suspected there might be a use for the toxin. Ed Schantz began his study of the toxin while working for Army Intelligence during World War II. Until his retirement, he supplied all the botulinum toxin used in scientific and medical research in the nation. Eric Johnson has worked with him for the past 13 years. We purify it by several purification steps, and there's, I would say, 50 milligrams of toxin in this vial here, which is maybe a million lethal doses, so obviously we're very careful with how we handle it. You want a sample? After all his years of research, Dr. Schantz had the imagination to see another application for the toxin. At first, it started with a small bit of pain at the base of the neck, and then eventually, as I'd be driving the car, all of a sudden my head would go to the left. And the only way I could get it back was to take my hand and push it back. Howard Thiel suffers from spasmodic torticollis, a painful disorder caused by hyperactive muscles that twist the neck and can permanently tilt a person's head to the front, back, or side. About 150,000 Americans suffer from this condition. Where's a pipe cake? Dr. Schantz wondered if the toxin paralyzes muscles, perhaps a tiny amount would relax overactive muscles. Ah, there you go. Ooh, I'd love boy. to hear that. Buddy? Deep. At one one thousandth the lethal dose, the deadly toxin becomes a healer. Yep. Ah, that's a good spot. Yep. Good. One left. In the minute I got my first injections, the pain was gone. I mean, it was just, uh, it was a great, great feeling. My life had been given back to me. It's ironic when you take a uh, toxin that can kill people, and all of a sudden it's saving lives. It's ironic, and it's, it's a great thing. Clostridia botulina are strange organisms. Under the right conditions, they grow quickly into large populations. Then the cells destroy themselves, the bacteria die, and the deadly toxin is released. To start a batch of toxin and complete it for medical use, it takes about three weeks. And in that time, we can prepare enough toxin to supply the medical profession for many, many years. And all of it in a tiny tube as you see on the bench. There is promising research that botulinum toxin will help millions of people suffering from conditions associated with hyperactive muscles, such as Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, and stuttering. In the meantime, 
Botulinum toxin has become very popular among plastic surgeons like Rhoda Narens. She uses tiny doses of toxin to remove the traces of worry and squinting without a scalpel. It doesn't hurt much, but it isn't cheap. A single treatment costs over five hundred dollars. Where are you recruiting from? Frown for a minute. Okay, relax. Relax. Do it again. Not a lot. Relax. 